about 20 years ago, a little bit longer, maybe 22 years ago, I was uh, trying to finish my PhD in, in physics, and I was really sick, and I was uh, in a wheelchair, and I was sleeping 20 hours a day, and anyway, it turns out I had a brain tumor, and uh, after they sucked the brain tumor out of my nose, I finished my PhD in six months, started my first startup, and became very interested in neuroscience. So it's been a, a side project for that period of time. And as I was rehabilitating myself, I was frustrated by my ability to take my ideas and get them outside of my head. And so I took all of the engineering that I had learned, my electrical engineering and optics, and had threw it back on itself to try to figure out how to make a system where I could, and many people could, communicate perhaps better. And so I've been developing that for a long time as I've seen neuroscience and brain mapping improve dramatically over the last 20 years. I think we're very close to being able to see what each other is thinking and being able to use a system that you could scan your thoughts and if, if, if you're a musician and you, you have a wake up with an idea for a song in your head, you, don't, you can just dump a rough cut to the computer or if you're a movie director and have an idea for a movie, you don't have to raise millions of dollars and hire difficult actors, you can just dump a rough cut to the computer and see what you've got. And, work around with yeah. it, and I think it would be a fabulous tool for creative people.